Happy Friday and welcome to the latest edition of our Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by Foreign Trade Data. Visit the Erner Berry booth number 364 at Seafood Expo North America in Boston from March 11th to the 13th for a free demo of Foreign Trade Data and other Erner Berry services. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Amanda Buckle. And I'm Nicole Christie. Let's kick this week's video off with a look at our top stories from around the globe. We already know that the omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil can benefit eye and cognitive development in babies, but researchers at Imperial <coughs> College London have now discovered that it could also reduce the risk of childhood allergies. The researchers looked at fish oil supplement trials and found that pregnant women who took a daily fish oil capsule starting at 20 weeks pregnant and during the first three to four months of breastfeeding reduced the chance of their child developing an egg allergy by 30%. Additional studies looked at peanut allergies and found that women who took fish oil supplements reduced their child's risk of a peanut allergy by 38%. Thanks, Nicole. That's really fascinating. In other news, New Brunswick fishermen are up in arms over a proposal from the DFO that would ban snow crab fishing in a large zone off the coast of New Brunswick while North Atlantic right whales are in the Gulf. North Atlantic right whales are endangered and had a particularly rough 2017, with entanglement and fishing rope being to blame for some of the 17 deaths that occurred last year. While the new rule would protect the whales, fishermen are arguing that it's going to create chaos in the fishing communities. Some are urging the government to consider other options, like starting the season earlier so that quotas can be met before the whales migrate to the Gulf. In other news, a major fire destroyed East Coast Seafood's lobster packing plant on Deer Island early Thursday morning. The fire reportedly broke out before 2.30 a.m. and was discovered by employees. The facility was not in the production at the time the fire broke out and there were no reported injuries. The live lobster facility was not affected by the fire and will resume normal production. Lobster processing will move to one of East Coast Seafood's other facilities in North America. Thanks, Nicole. Glad no one was hurt. Mm -hmm. As for our final story of the day, the USDA's catfish position may be shifting as Vietnam goes to the World Trade Organization over the use of non-tariff trade barrier on catfish. Vietnam sees a shift of inspection from FDA to USDA as an attempt to prevent catfish exports to the U.S. through the use of non-tariff trade barriers. If Vietnam's arguments are successful, WTO rules would allow Vietnam to impose retaliatory trade tariffs against U.S. export to Vietnam to compensate for its financial losses over catfish. National Fisheries Institute President John Connolly said that U.S. agriculture exports to Vietnam, like cotton, wheat, and other grains, pork, soybeans, and more, would end up in the crosshairs of retaliatory tariffs. And that wraps up our news for the week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news.